Hello you peeps, this is Edo here for another Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Here with me is Nightshade. It smells the butts. Yeah, it does. Uh, we last left off, uh, well, getting first Maya out of, you know, detention center. Um, thanks to all good old uh, Edgy Word. Yeah, all expenses paid by the Hedgeworth Corporation. Yeah. This is so awesome. And now we have bumped into the butts. Actually, we're on the hunt for information to get more information. Yep, so let's move because we already talked to him. Uh, let's try the let's boat rental shop, actually. Yeah. December 26th, the boat rental shop. Hmm. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all. They're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Can't examine anything. Check the door, maybe? Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Yeah, I guess there's nothing I can... I guess for the time being. Oh, dang. I keep seeing it, but I keep thinking, like, we should be, you know... Whatever. Uh, the woods. December 26, Cord Lake Woods. Oh, there Hi, y'all. Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. You are kind of wearing, well, I don't know. Actually, she, her outfit could it's, technically be warm, so. Considering she goes under a cold waterfall, I, I think she can take it. I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa! No, you don't! No sneezing! Achoo! And there it goes. <laughs> I told y'all no sneezing! See, I set the camera to respond to little things a little softer than a bang. I triggered on one of the Vogue Comp finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. Edgeworth will pay. Sob. <laughs> can, can we just put all on Edgeworth's expenses? I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about my case, that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. <sighs> what are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A UFO. <laughs> a UFO. I keep forgetting she says it that way. A UFO. <laughs> a UFO? Anyway, if I can get, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Huh. Uh, do we want to uh, go Let's go to the precinct. Lana's camera is staring out at the lake as usual. Even a novice like me can tell that camera must cost a pretty penny. Hope she doesn't leave it out here to get it stolen. Uh, okay. Um, jeez. Precinct. Wait, what? Let's go to the criminal's affairs. Okay. There's obviously nothing God around here until it, we got some. I feel like walking around. At the speed of sound. December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Got places to go. With the blue badger in the corner. You were supposed to say, gotta follow my rainbow. Why can't you sing with me, Nightshade? I did not hear you in the first place. <laughs> go. <laughs> gotta go follow my rainbow. There we hey go. Hey there, pal! <laughs> What's up? You, you look out of sorts. Wait! 
You need to go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Hedgewood's case again. What do you mean, again? You hear me right, sir. <clears throat> Whatever. Have a seat, Paul. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. <laughs> it's something I don't really have much. Alrighty. How is the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Hedgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Hedgeworth's father died in a DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Hedgeworth shot them. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> I love this animation of his. <laughs> He's like, wur, wur, nur. <laughs> it just uh, seems like he's really derpy when he's answering this question. <laughs> like it's something that he should know, like or it's something that like. <laughs> oh my god! Well, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me, then? Oh! Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. Uh-oh. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Wada. Nick! Try telling him sooner next time! Uh, sorry. Wait, who you're talking to? Mm, I see, Paul. Sorry for shouting at you and... Spinning all over your face. Okay! I, Detective Gumshoe, third of the name, actually first, but who's going to check, will hate your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons <laughs> for finding evidence. Secret weapons? Really? You can take whichever one you like. Okay. Okay, give us the goods! Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one. Um, the missile. missile. <laughs> what? The missile? He's a canine do police dog, still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! Here, Well, give you the can pop. say missile. Good. That's actually another prop. There's no wrong way of saying that, actually. Good boy. Good oh, boy. Oh, look. look at that! <gasps> Woof. <laughs> Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Here he is! Hey, he's cute! Look, Nick. Cute dog. <laughs> I got us pictured Maya just picking them up and just shoving into Phoenix's face. It just seems like... It seems like she was supposed to say it's a cute dog, not just cute dog. <laughs> Want some hot dogs? A cute dog. And this will help us... How? Woof! <laughs> Woof! Next! <laughs> version you like. Secret weapon number two. A fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. A fishing pole. We use this to fish out the evidence out of the sea. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Have you never played Monster Hunter, boy? <laughs> never know till you try, pal. Mm. 
Okay. This next one is the last one, but it's no, a classic. Please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three. A metal detector. Oh. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Well, if he ate the police car, you wouldn't know. I mean, right. <laughs> How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans or police cars. <laughs> well, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't uh -huh. make up my mind either for the totally opposite reason. <laughs> oh, well. I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Jeez, what are we borrowing? Do you really want to know, or are you just being sarcastic? Uh, I'm being sarcastic. We want the metal detector, don't we? Yes, we do. But I want the doggy. <laughs> no. But the doggy is so The cute. dog will not cut it. All right, we're buying the It will detector. chew on it for a little bit, but it will not cut it. Can we borrow the metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure uh, what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're haunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Borrowed metal detector from Detective Gumshoe. Alright, let's go, uh, I guess we go back. Let's go put that detector to good use to find a monster, which we can probably find here, so it's the... in Grosberg's office. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. At the... Is it here that I can use it? Not quite. Okay. You have to put it somewhere it's empty, and there's only one place around here that's empty right now. The boat rental shop. Yes. Oh, beep! <laughs> that beep was loud. <laughs> Nick! It's beeping! The metal detector found something! Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Yes. Send the defenseless little girl to go check things out. Something made of metal, no less. Why do I have to check it out? You know, now I just remembered the metal detector they use in the movie. It was like, I think it was pretty much different, but uh, the, the idea was the same. It just looked a little more fancy than that. I see. Nick! Look! What the? Is that a soda bottle? Huh? An air tank? I was close. Huh, the valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. <laughs> oh, Maya, Maya. First of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. <laughs> I mean, if the monster is made of metal, you wouldn't know. Poor Maya. You'll feel like a <laughs> now, will you, Phoenix? She's too innocent. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Huh. Well, it might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Picked up an air tank of dubious, <laughs> dubious value. Dubious value. It just sounds funny. Dubious. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. Somebody. It has to do somebody with this. needs to explain something here. So what's up with the flags? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's yours. Say, is this air tank yours? Well, why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <laughs> Must be a coincidence. Uh, there's string of flags everywhere these days. L like elementary schools. And used car dealerships. No. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? I inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. <laughs> Now why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. 
Oh, Larry. Right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always use is on the fritz. Uh, so I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And the it didn't go so well. The bot is real. As I suspected. Yeah. It didn't go so well? Er, uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Uh-huh. Tell us! Tell us! Uh, fine. Whatever. It's like I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam! Blam. Oh, it just shot in the air! <laughs> that looks so wrong. <laughs> the valve busted open and it made this incredible noise! And that tank there took off like a rocket! And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it! What? Off into Gord Lake? <laughs> it sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Ha 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 Sorry. <laughs> Alright, the flying air tank. Um, so the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away? What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying down to the lake. So I went out every night in the boat looking for it. I mean, Kyonsei gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. Oh, it flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. <laughs> Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. <gasps> We're gonna go tell her. Let's go. We're trying to expose the truth. Uh, do we talk or we just present it? I believe we can present. Oh. Or we can talk. Or we can talk, I guess. Let's see. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Gordy does not exist. Lada, there is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist is here. Is here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Uh, uh. I mean, <laughs> we've seen what happened before. Air tank. Oh, I mean present. <laughs> Larry's air tank? But y'all dealing with an air tank. This is Gordy. Um, excuse <laughs> <laughs> me? But excuse me? <laughs> Shut up on your life! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to pay royalties to oh Game Grumps again. Oh my gosh, sorry Game Grumps, sue me all you want. Um, excuse me? Well, what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. Samurai dogs, mind you. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, <laughs> who happens to be a friend of mine, tried that to fill about it. Right. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy 
Is it really the Steel Samurai? Everything is finally making sense. Will Powers is Gordy all along. Aww, poor Lada. Well, that's a fine way to ruin the gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. Poor Lada. So, tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy, living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Uh, Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. <gasps> Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the leg. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Second lake. Second fun. lake. Bye Just now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Aww. I feel bad now. Poor Lotta. Hey. It's all Larry's fault. <laughs> the bots. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. <laughs> when something smells, it's usually It's usually the, the butts. butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Alright, I need to get ready for this. Alright, yeah. to the boat rental shop. December 26th, boat rental shop. Hey, Nick! This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Now move, move. Oh, move? move. Oh. Yeah, we move. Oh, that's right. Oh! The caretaker's shack. I'm sorry, I'm making the shack noises. Shack! The damn right. <laughs> December 26th, caretaker's shack. It's Jacques! It's... No, it's not. It's, it's a cute not bird. Jack. Mac! Die, you! Eek! Hey! Is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? You have been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. <laughs> uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your whole man proud. When your kid left the house, I didn't know what to think. I'm supposed to keep this place thriving and old men like me. Polly! Kids are home! Hello! Hello! Quack! <laughs> Nick! What was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief. Is it Polly? Hello, hello. Quack! <laughs> I uh, yep. <laughs> I like how they just name him Uncle. Yeah, right. He's just Uncle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he falls 
asleep. He fell asleep. <laughs> I guess he's relieved. Uh, do we examine him? Cool, Jack. St actually, you should st uh... Look, Nick. He has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. <laughs> I wonder what it's really called. Hmm? A kokatsu? Hmm? <laughs> Isn't that a kokatsu? A kotatsu. 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 kotatsu, that's yeah. right. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. Hot cocoa! Hot cocoa! <laughs> hot cocoa! Yeah. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. Uh, check that green thing over there. Wow, he has a television in here, too. Oh, yeah, this thing? Yeah. Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. Well, jeez, it's a wow. safe, Maya. Oh, my God. And Polly? Well, there are lots of various fish in Gord Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Oh, yes, that lake is pretty salty. I think the only thing you got less is Polly, I guess, and then we can talk to the guy. Yeah, I guess we talked to Polly. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello? He ignored me. Ah! <laughs> what? You forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. I like that the pop noise is the same noise as the the what's it called the gavel. <laughs> that 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 the <laughs> judge. I've never noticed before. It's the same sound effect. <laughs> oh God. I <laughs> just noticed that too. <laughs> but it's the same sound effect. That cracks wow. me up for some reason. Wow. Her name. Polly, how you been? Hello, hello. Squat. See? Neat. So the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Too bad all she can say is hello. Too bad har, all har, she har. can say is hello. Har, har, har. Oh, Polly can't say lots of things. Yeah, I just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Yes, that's what I said. I think we got to talk to him. All right, let's talk to him. <laughs> um, a pasta shop? Uh, yep. The think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. So that makes you two to third generations. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow, we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You two, Keith. Y yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. A pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Y yes You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the palace of pasta, the white noodle. No, not that you mention it. We haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. Really? Oh, the kids come up and say, yo, 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 dude. If you want to ride in one of your boats, dog. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days. Darn if I understand them. 
I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. <laughs> ah, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to whole Polly here. Everything <laughs> important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? Really? One, two, two, eight, squat. Really? All right! Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick! Write that number down! Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes! Can we check Polly again? I don't know, but can we check this? Oh. Aw. Oh, I couldn't do it. So, oh, do we need to check him, examine him again? Not sure, but... Polly, Polly! What's your name? Polly! What? <laughs> Cute! Maya's found a new friend. Uh, can, just... can we present anything? I don't... What well, could we present? Uh... We have a new picture now, actually. No, not that. Can I see it? Oh, no, you can. it no. won't let me. Uh... Can we... Well, I'll use the uh, autopsy report. Autopsy report? There's a lot of things, okay. <laughs> now listen here, kid. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rainbow, rainbow yoli. I figured out the last color we shall use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Alright, let's let's just move out and see if something happens. If we don't, then I guess we just guess yeah. Alright, I guess I guess there's more to it than I thought, so I guess we should break here. Alrighty then. In the next episode, we'll see what happens with this old man. Hopefully we'll find out more information about him and his parrot, Polly. And maybe more about that safe. Because <laughs> that safe got me kinda curious too. Um so this was Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. With me and Nightshade. Yeah, Keith! Get me a beer. The next ender, Keith. And with that, we are out of here. <laughs>